Ta-da! <laughs> oh, it's all crooked. Oh, let's fix this up a bit. That's better. Good thing no one's on, right? <laughs> Yet. <laughs> <sighs> Cheers. Coffee. <laughs> My morning coffee. <laughs> it's stressing me out now already. This oof, really warm under this gorgeous shrug. <laughs> mm. I should get a needle and start weaving in these ends. All right, that's what I'll do. I'll get a needle and start weaving in the ends. I finished a shrug, guys. Your next tutorial will be this one here. Check it out. All very nice and warm. <laughs> Hello, Terry. How are you? Are you well? Check out the shrug. Yay. <laughs> Hi, Anne. Hi, Holly. I'm well, I suppose. As well as we can expect, as can be expected. <laughs> Check out the shrug, guys. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm sorry, I've turned around and I'm not watching what I'm doing. Isn't it gorgeous and warm? Probably too warm right now. <laughs> and I've got a needle in my hand because I'm weaving in ends as we speak. <laughs> my favourite combo. I know, right? I love this colour combo. Oh, look how I'm talking because I want to show you the shrug. <laughs> Ooh, hi, Liz. Oh, I missed that. Hi, Liz. Hi Holly, I know right, did it not come out gorgeous? Let me take another shot for you so you can have a look-see. I see the ends are still on there, sorry. <laughs> I will get rid of them. See how I'm trying to get up so you can see the bottom part. <laughs> I'll take it off in a minute, you can have a better look. <laughs> Hope you're all well. Yes, we have a couple of newbies on today, yay. <laughs> I love a newbie. <laughs> I used to be a newbie once, now I'm an oldie. <laughs> I know, right, Liz, but it's warm. It's really warm. Oh, it's so hot. <laughs> so it's going to be great for our cooler months. Not that we can get out yet, but you never know. We might be able to get out soon. Check it out. Let's get a nice big look-see so you can see that's the back. Ta-da! There's the sleeves. And the sleeves are, I did a little bit of um, very minimal, a little bit of intricate work there. It's not really a lot. It's basic, newbies can do this. And I'm planning to upload a small, I'm puffed out, geez, I'm old. I'm, <laughs> I'm planning to upload a small tutorial on how to do this stitch before I upload the second part to our shrug. Let me show you the front of the shrug because you can't really see it while I'm standing there. So it kind of looks like that. Ta-da! Looks like a cocoon. And I have to tell you, when I was making it, I was on the couch the other day and it was about 28 inches roughly and I had it over my legs and it was a nasty cold day and I thought how warm was this? This is going to keep us gorgeously warm and the colours are looking gorgeous and it's basic. Ah, only thing is it does take a long time. <laughs> Having said that, <clears throat> quick tip, use a large hook. That helps. <laughs> <laughs> the hook size I used was a 6.5. Let me get that up a little bit more. <laughs> was a 6.5. Um, I probably would have been better off with an 8 or a 9 like I did start using um, in the small piece, which was and still is this guy. Now I'm making this for my stool. Yeah, I have some yarn left over. I used altogether nine skeins. I did lose a little bit to, you know, some damage. Mm-hmm. It was a damaged skin, I know, I'm not happy. So you're probably looking about eight and a half to nine. I would say pretty much nine if you're using a six and a half hook. If you're using a larger hook, you might get away with eight. But don't quote me on it. It depends on your tension. I did mention that in the first tutorial, that it depends on your tension. And I'm talking to only three people here, so I should shut up now and just do some weaving in ends. Oh, did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> I hope everyone is well. I hope you are well. I'll talk about the rest of um, our gear as we get along. I'm actually weaving in ends as we speak. Do, do or does anyone have any questions about the shrug that they would like to know or ask before they attempt part two? 
because part one was very basic. It was your, your normal granny square, which I uploaded late last night. Hello from Oklahoma. I watched a movie called Oklahoma once. Very good. It's classical. <laughs> it's like 100 years ago. But I'm not advertising my age at all. <laughs> Hello from Oklahoma. Hello from Melbourne, Australia. Glenroy, to be exact. Northern suburbs of Melbourne. Yes, yes, yes. Not that it makes a difference because no matter where we are these days, we're all indoors, right? <laughs> Most of us are anyway. Hey, are you still indoors over there? Oh, we're indoors here. We're going to be indoors for a long time by the looks of it. Yeah, yeah. Never mind. This is what crochet is for. That'll keep us busy. <laughs> it will. <laughs> and I have so many tutorials I'm going to pop up for you guys. I'm not even going to be doing um, my usual chat tutorials where I just get on and talk about things. I'm not going to do those at the moment. I'm going to wait for another at least another three weeks before doing those. And I'm just going to do normal tutorials over and over again until we're out of lockdown or until most people are out of lockdown because then that way oh, i've lost my scissors here we go because then that way um we can actually uh get on with projects while we're stuck at home yeah um so i have many projects coming up and as you saw before with the shrug i will wear the shrug again in a few minutes time when we get more people on um but the shrug itself i cannot complain it turned out gorgeous and I can't wait to, to wear it, actually. I cannot wait to wear it in the um, cooler months. I'm hoping we can get out in winter here in Melbourne. I don't know. It's not looking good. <laughs> We're still on stage three lockdown <laughs> here in Melbourne. So, um, but the shrug is finished. It's there. I did break out in a little rash here this morning. It's cleared because I've put the cream on. I hope it's not the yarn. <laughs> Because if it's the yarn, I can't wear it. <laughs> but it's acrylic, the yarn. It shouldn't make me rash. Can I cry online? Am I allowed to do that? <laughs> Not likely. <laughs> Not likely. So, um, yeah. So the shrug is finished, guys. Ah, we get some more people on. I don't think everybody's seen the shrug. It is all done. Last night, I just did the granny square, uploaded the granny square part, which is the back part. Now, the granny square part's pretty important that you get your measurements right. If you want, probably the best bid for you to do is actually measure it on you. Okay. I'll see if I can find it. <laughs> it's all here somewhere. <laughs> I took it off for a second to weave in one end. And there we go. That's the back part of the granny square. I know, right? Cool, yo. And there we have the front which is quite cocooned and yes the ends are not weaved in yet I'm doing that as we speak I actually finished it very late yesterday and finished recording very late yesterday of the second part so I will edit that this week and you will get that second part probably Monday or Tuesday I'll, I'll go for Tuesday I think um I can that way I can pop on Monday I can pop the um quick tutorial on how to do the sleeves so that way it's a lot easier for you when you um get to the sleeve part it'll be a lot easier for you to um do it i suppose uh what else did we do this week we also did i did um a midweek live to talk about what was coming up we did our little um makeup wash thing you can you know take your makeup off with it and we also did our second washcloth well it's not a washcloth i just showed everybody the um main stitches we use in in crochet which is chain single half double and double oh and i think there was a slip knot in there somewhere as well and i said if you do 30 stitches for a practice because that's what i do make them too long <laughs> um then you could make it longer even longer and turn it into a washcloth um morning leslie how are you turn it into a washcloth and you could go even longer and turn it into a scarf and that i, I try to do things on my channel that are practical so that you can actually use them for something else as well you don't have to it's just something i do i've always been practical that way <laughs> don't tell anyone <laughs> pretty simple person <laughs> i love a good practical item something that's not gonna cost too much except this shrug did it cost me a lot <laughs> because i use nine skeins and those skeins were not cheap um so there you go so nine skeins were used for the shrug However, 
I did use a six and a half hook and I do crochet rather tightly. So I don't know if that makes a difference. I'm assuming it does. Again, it's all about tension, really, I suppose. Um, you're looking at me wondering what I'm doing. I'm weaving in ends. To my newcomers that have come in just now, I'm weaving in ends on the shrug. I'm going to flash the shrug again, over and over again. Hello, Veronica. Ah, first granny circle. You're an awesome teacher. Veronica, you're new. Welcome. I haven't seen you live yet. Um, hi, Angela, Ghost Hacker. How are you? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the shrug again because we've got some new people on today and I don't want them to miss out. Oh, if I can get it, I can get it all sorted out. It's really warm in here. I put it on more often. I'll put it on again in a minute. Uh, did you say that yarn you used? Did you say what yarn you used? I will give you the, the label in a minute. I'll show you the label so you can see it. I uploaded the first part overnight. Hi, Yana Doubt, how are you? Hi, Anita. Um, let me see. Whoa, whoa, there we go. There's your shrug. Whoops, have I got it right? I've got it upside down. I oh, know I haven't, that's right. <laughs> Just haven't closed it up properly. There it is. Okay, I'll show you the yarn in a minute. That's the back. All right, I'll show you the yarn in a minute. Oh, good, I'm glad you're good. Let me show you the yarn. <laughs> Can you believe I've lost the label? I'll get the label. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. And it looks like... <laughs> I watched the Granny Square shrug late last night. I know. Me too. It, it just took forever. <laughs> it took forever to upload and everything. But that's the colour of the yarn. This is the label. So you can have a look-see. It's a Lion Brand label. Okay. I will read the dye lot to you. The dye lot, or the colour shade, or colour way, I should say. It's called Blue Lagoon. It is a beautiful colour way. You cannot fault it. I mean, look at the colours. You've got green. I know, right? You've got green, you've got purples, you've got blues. You've got everything. I love this colour way. And yes, I'm going to try the shrug. Shrug, shrug. <laughs> I'm going to try the shrug on for you. <laughs> Tongue tied today. I'm puffed out. I'm old. All this walking from one side of the room to the other. <laughs> All right, well, let's get it on. Woo. It's pretty warm in here. I turned the heater down just so that I can put the shrug on, but I'm still quite warm. Now, let me move the camera down. Hit the thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Ta da! Look at that. I'm no model, but check this out. Woo! <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It is so warm. Let me get a nice close-up of the stitches. Basic double crochet here. A granny stitch, I mean. You get your three double crochets in there. Basic double crochet stitches down there. Tiny little bit intricate here. Nothing you can't handle. I know, right? Isn't it gorgeous? I love, love, love. I am just so happy with it. And yours truly can't wear wool. <laughs> so I'm hoping the acrylic... I know, right? Check it out. I'm going to go and do a bit more modelling. Can I get up any taller? No, I don't think I can. I can't get taller. I'm a shorty. Awesome, but highly unlikely here in warm, I know. But guess what? Louisiana. Louisiana, warm Louisiana. We're going to make a summer one too. Oh, aren't you excited? I am. <laughs> a little bit weird but excited <laughs> and it's not going to be a big one like this it'll be like a, a little off the shoulder kind of short little kind of where's the arm don't go away it's over there it's too far away ah oh, thank you Veronica thank you thank you I'm trying to find some yarn for you that I was going to use it's over there do you mind waiting one second I should have been more organized shouldn't I well, you can get to see the shrug better Woo! Here we go. All right. And there it is. Now I've got blues. I've got reds. I know. I'm really crazy when it comes to buying this stuff. See that? We are making, not this week though, because this week I'm snowed under. <laughs> it's, it's ironic. I'm more busier now than I was when I was able to leave the house. And I know, right? And we are going to make a summer... Like a bolero. Yes, Leslie, like a bolero. We are going to make a summer shrug with this one here. So we've got our... Where did you buy that? Okay. Where did I get this one? 
Unwind Craft Cafe in uh, Killer East. I usually get a lot of my stuff from them. That's where I got the little slip up soles that we're going to make our slippers with. Um, that's a while away yet because I want to make sure that people have their slipper soles. It's a really bad time at the moment for anybody to get anything in. Um, I tried to order something from, where was it yesterday, two days ago, Bendigo Woolen Mills. They're out of stock. <laughs> I mean, they've got stock, but not what I needed. Most of the stuff I need, they're out of stock with the basic colours. So um, there you go. But Unwind Cafe, Craft Cafe, they're still open and they're still selling. I'm not sure about delivery. I'm assuming they do delivery. But you can order, put it aside and either pick it up or check with them if they do delivery. But I get these from Unwind Craft Cafe and it's really warm with a shrug, guys. I'm going to have to take it off. <laughs> Cannot get to the peninsula. I wonder if she would mail it. I'll ring, ring them. Give them a call. Speak to Kate. Say that Mary from Well Crochet or even Robin. Mary from Well Crochet has spoken to you. And you want to order from them. I don't know if you'll get a special deal because I don't get special deals. <laughs> In fact, if you ring them, say Mary from Wild Crochet wants a special deal. <laughs> so there you go, all right? How gorgeous. I'm very happy with it. But it's really warm in the house with it. <laughs> so I'm taking it off. We'll pop it back on again in a minute when more people get on again. But, you know, guys, it wasn't difficult. The only difficult part you may have is with your measurements. Get your measurements right, because like I said, I'm in, in my first tutorial overnight, I'm quite short. Not so much this way, but <laughs> this way. Just want the yarn. I know, right, Leslie? Get the yarn. Check it out. You can get it other places. I just go um, to Unwind Craft Cafe for most of my um, goods anyway. So there you go. Uh, hi. Hi. Oh, I missed that person. Someone Fisher. Fisher? You'll come back when someone says something, you'll come back and I'll say a proper hello to you because I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. Here we go. Um, bread, breadfish, make a scarf. Make a scarf. I've made plenty of scarves, but I can make a scarf. I have a few of these. This is a summer yarn. It's because it's really, really thin. Have a careful look how thin it is. You need to use a smaller size hook. This will be great as a. Um, Summer shrug, summer scarf. There is a scarf that I'm thinking of doing. It's not a scarf as such. It is a scarf. It's a summer one. I love your accent. Oh, I don't know. I can't hear an accent in me, but you know, you're from a different place, so you hear it. <laughs> Didn't even know I had one. Uh, I try to crochet, but how do you do? How do you crochet a beginner star? Star, star, Jimmy. Breadfish. I have beginner tutorials coming up. This one was up last week. Okay, this is the one, it came up this week actually, the week that just passed. This one here is the basics of tutorial, oh, tutorial, of crochet. You've got your single, your half double, and your double crochets all in the one tutorial. Have a practice with that. It's called beginner, yeah, it, it was only this week, so it may, may maybe be about two or three tutorials away maximum two or three you'll see it it looks exactly like that on the picture um that is these are the main stitches you need on crochet really and then you can perform so much with it and this week i'm doing another set of beginner stitches on how you can do front loops back loops front posts and back posts all right and then we'll talk about next week or the week after we'll talk about decreasing increasing we'll get a bit more into the intricate but for now this is your basic Okay, you can turn this into a washcloth if you kept going. You can turn this into a scarf if you kept going, okay? That was done this week along with this guy. <laughs> so it's a makeup remover, okay? That was nice to do. Oh, it's cute, I know. It was okay. I can't complain, it was okay. And then we did the shrug, as you saw. Now with the shrug, I'm going to be... Do you make many baby blankets? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. This one I'm making. This one is actually I made for sale. That's actually on my madeit.com.au store, um, Wow Crochet, okay, and that's for sale. So I sell, I will sell this one. It's quite thick. It's quite um, solid, so, you know, it's warm for winter. And all those blankets you see 
up there, they're all baby blankets, okay? Can you do a giveaway? I can, usually a 5,000 subscriber mark, which was coming up, oh, that's actually happened overnight. <laughs> but I can't do one right now. The only reason is because of shipping. I'm not, ha I'm not sure what's happening with shipping here in Australia whilst we're in lockdown. So we're all kind of stuck in our homes. I don't know how Australia Post will go with shipping. Um, I did mention on the last live, I don't know, you probably weren't there then. I mentioned on the last live that I would probably won't be doing the giveaway until I hit the 6,000 subscriber mark or until we're able to leave our premises. I mean, we're able to leave to go to the supermarkets and things like that. I'm not sure about postage right now. And I usually do um, a giveaway. At, how do you do a crochet? A plushie? A plushie. A plushie. I've never done one. I wouldn't have a clue. I could. Plushie? Isn't a plushie a... Um, um, oh, what's a plushie? Aren't they like pink, fluffy? Yeah, stuffed animal. I'm trying to remember. Is it for children? Yes. Pink fluffy. Well, they're like pink, yeah? I'm trying to remember. I know the name. I've heard the name plushie. Um, I'll keep it in mind. I don't know with... Um, I could probably do it. I, don't, I try not to... It's a mega roomy. It's a mega roomy. I try not to deal with toys much. That doesn't mean anything. I know um, lots of crochet file people out there who do a mega roomy. Um, yeah, teddy bear. It's a teddy bear. Is Oh, nice. Okay. It's an animal head on a small blanket. Oh, I've, got, I've done one of those, but that's not really a plushie. Oh, is it a plushie? Is it a brand, though? It's not just a, like, it, it's a certain teddy bear. It's a special kind of teddy bear. It's just a normal teddy bear and any and any kind teddy bear. Is that what you mean? Breadfish? Breadfish? You think I get the name right after seeing it ten times? <laughs> a normal teddy bear. Ah. Oh. I try to veer away from toys, but I could do one if, if, if the demand was there, if we had a high demand. And I would do one in a larger or a thicker yarn and I would make the teddy bear quite big rather than a small little, because I find that crocheting nigurumi really does a lot of strain on your hand. So I would make it in a larger or a thicker yarn so the strain wouldn't be so, I don't know, so bad, I suppose you can call it. I do work a lot of hours on crochet, so I put a lot of pressure on these hands. So doing a migurumi would just push it a little bit. Hello, Karen. Karen, Karen, how are you? I haven't seen you for a while. I hope you're well. Okay, breadfish, I'll keep that in mind. Let, let me think about that. Let me stew over that a little bit. Um, and we'll have a chat maybe on the next live if you want to come up and pop and see me again this time next week. Or I do um, a midweek live, but that's a very short one very small one just to tell you what the next project is and how much yarn to get and that sort of stuff um but this time every week is my normal live so you will see that for a while okay yeah i'll keep it in mind though breadfish let me do my homework i need to go all right bye breadfish have a good day um or good night wherever you are from <laughs> i keep forgetting it's people from all over the world um here it's only what are we it's about quarter to 11 quarter to 11 in the morning yep uh, still kicking, crocheting and sewing. Now, for those of you joining us new, because I know I've got a few more people watching today, lovely to see you guys, lovely, lovely to see you. The um, shrug is complete. Oh, I'm going to put it back on again for you. Oh, why? Because I've cooled down a bit and I can. Because <laughs> it's really warm. <laughs> it's so warm. Oh, and so nice. And comfortable. Have I got it the right way? I've got it the right way. Before I had it on the wrong way. I had it on inside out before. Am I a duffer or what? <laughs> so it keeps you warm around your neck. You roll it down at the back. Now, like I said in um, the tutorial late last night when I started making it. Whoa, hang on. You know what? I didn't drop the camera, did I? Let's drop it. Whoa. <laughs> How's that? There you go. Ta-da! Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. I'm not a model, but I think I'm doing quite well. Oh, I hope no one's been talking. <laughs> okay, here we go. There you go. And there's the uh, your stitch line for your arms. 
and your armholes are there you could have probably made or I could have probably made it a lot tighter but I was more um, worried about making it the right size for um, someone who's a large or an extra large now I'm kind of supposed to be a small because I'm short but my third figure won't allow me to be small hi nightingale how are you so I have to be a large because my third figure is telling me to be a large not the first one or the second one there's two in there <laughs> this is the third one <laughs> so there you go oh my gosh it's gone warm again sorry guys so I'm just going to have to keep taking it on and off um, until I cool down a little bit. <laughs> it goes to show how nice and warm it'll be. However, like I mentioned before, we will be doing ourselves a summer shrug. And it's only going to be like a little one that goes there and across the back to the side. And that won't be made... Doing good, just sat down to crochet. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that won't be made... In a square it'll be more rectangle um, I'm sure you've seen the rectangle ones out there so I'll be making the rectangle one the square one I did just for uh, a warmer project oh that lighting is really shocking ah uh, love that yarn I know right I just I love the colors and if I remember correctly I advertised another blue shawl was quite a few months back and um, the colors were exactly the same in a summer brand but not in this brand like in a summer thread so the colors were amazing still are i mean look at those colors they're to die for they remind me of they remind me of the ocean and of green pastures and just beautiful places all in one wrapped up all in one i know i'm being a little bit you know, nerdy. <laughs> hey, I'm a nerd. <laughs> I'm not going to tell any lies. <laughs> I'm nerdy. <laughs> so, so they do. They remind me of beautiful things all in one. The yarn was expensive, but it was on special here. Where can I get the cake yarn you were holding up? Um, Karen, you're from, uh, where are you from? You're not from Australia, are you? These are actually more popular overseas, I think, than Australia. The sheep is well. You should be able to get the sheepies whirl online. I don't know in your country if the craft stores hold them. You, you should be able to get them online. I get them from a craft store because I like to keep the local businesses alive, <laughs> as you do. Um, and it's just better for them. USA, yeah, you could probably get them in the USA on, on one of your craft online stores. I would, I would have a look-see. Have a look-see. If you want, I can start checking those things next time before I... Before I flash them, I could do that. Um, but it would be pretty difficult to check every country up. <laughs> so hop online, um, Google it, and just type in, type in on Google. Here we go. I'll tell you what to type in. Type in that sheepies world, okay? So when you're ready to go to Google, type that in. Come back and check the live and type that sheepies world in. And um, you'll be, I'm sure you'll be able to get it anywhere. However, if you can't, it's a summer thread. So get anything that's... Let me get a nice close-up. How gorgeous is it? I mean, look at those colours. Oh, it's to die for. Yeah. You should be able to get a summer thread. This is... I think this is cotton. Let me check. Let me check. I might be lying to you. <laughs> it's called Sage, the colourway. Okay. And it is 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. Any cotton will do. Hello. Um, you can't wait to see a shrug. Oh, you've just joined us, haven't you? Well, guess what? I finished a shrug and I'm weaving in the ends as we speak. And I just took it off, but I'm going to put it back on again. Just for you. Just for you. Are you ready? All right. Well, I'll tell you what, though. It's warm. I had to take it off because it's really comfortable and really warm and soft and fluffy and all that jazz. And all that jazz. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh. Okay, hang on, hang on. I'm forever having to do this. It's probably time to cut all my hair off. What do you think, guys? We'll go bop. <gasps> no, never. <laughs> well, not yet. <laughs> One day. All right, ready? I'll bring the camera down so you can see. You can have a look-see. Check it out. Gorgeous. I'm no model, but I love it. 
I love playing with it. I love feeling it. It's so soft. I know. I know, right? And I probably, like I said earlier, I probably, I'm still weaving ends. I probably could have done the sleeves a little tighter. So maybe I'll mention that in um, the second part of the tutorial. I've already, I've already recorded the second part of the tutorial. <laughs> I finished it all yesterday. Whew, so warm. Um, so I finished it all yesterday, all the recording, and all I needed to do was to upload it. So I recorded the first one, uploaded the first one. But it takes a while to edit these, so I've got to edit the second one. I will be uploading something else beforehand because the sleeves itself, let me show you closer, they have a little ridged effect. I know it's gorgeous. I'm very proud of it. I just love it. They have a little ridged effect. Now, it's a tiny little bit intricate. It's not difficult. So what I'm going to do is upload the stitch on Monday or maybe Sunday. Monday upload the stitch on Monday and then on Tuesday you'll get the rest of the tutorial for this guys it's going to take you a while to finish the granny square part anyway your granny square needs to be between 37 inches and 41 inches you saw a plane today I saw a plane to I heard a plane I didn't see one and I we live about six minutes from the airport so one never knows huh whether deliveries are still happening so um, I was mentioning earlier, if I hit 5,000 subscribers, I would do the giveaway coming up very soon. Sadly, I'm not sure about the delivery. We're having issues here with um, delivery services and things. So I'm not going to do the giveaway right now I'm because I've hit 5,000 overnight. Yay! I'm very excited. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> I feel like a little, little clown. Um, and so I will probably do the giveaway but I won't do it until maybe another three weeks time because I'm just a bit worried about delivery. So if I was to send something out, let's just say someone from India wins or someone from America wins or China, whoever they are around the world, and it usually takes three to six weeks to get there, it might take five to six months. And it's just pointless doing it that way. So what I might do is wait for three or four weeks when we're out of stage three lockdown, that's when I'll start to advertise so I can get out and do, because I want to be able to buy some of the stuff. I've got plenty of yarn to give. That's not an issue. But I like to add things. I like to add crochet hooks or knitting needles or sewing darning needles or, um, I'm, I'm trying to think now. <laughs> well, let's open my drawer and have a look. Yeah, I like to add things. Buttons. I love adding buttons. Um, what else? What else? Oh, here we go. Here we go shawl pins i got a couple of things but not a lot and i would like to be able to <laughs> i dropped everything there again i would like to be able to do the right thing by the person who wins and you know guys you know me i usually do the three on the main giveaway i do the three giveaways i do first second and third prize so for those of you who are joining us new that's what i do um so that way i've got more people can win because i feel really bad or a lot of people get on there and they all want to win. And you know what? I've always had, whenever I've done a, a giveaway and I've asked a question, I've always had everyone answer it perfectly. Not one person has done the wrong thing or not answered it correctly or misunderstood the question. Everybody has, I do easy questions, yeah. Everybody has answered it perfectly. So that's great. I'm still weaving in these ends, guys. And while I'm weaving in these ends, I'm going to talk to you about what's happening this week <laughs> and as you know we're doing the second part to the shrug but I've also advertised last week uh hi my wool okay is my wool okay the one that you showed me yes but you don't have enough like my 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 um this one here took me I know I crochet really tightly and you know it makes really small everything so small uh nine nine skeins so I know you showed me, you said you had some, but, but it's not enough. If you've got other yarn in your stash that you can create that's not the same as this, you can still make it that way. Just follow the measurements. Make sure you do your inches correct um, and follow the measurements before you um, continue. So a couple on the way. Yet yeah, not enough, honey. You need more than – I use nine skeins. So if you can get nine or ten, that's okay. Anything less, it's not going to work. And with this particular yarn, if you have a thicker yarn in stock 
or even um, if you have a thinner yarn, you're going to need less and even less. But if you have a thicker yarn in stock, you'll do okay. Okay. So remember this. I've been playing with it. I don't like it. I got another one I did here as well. Oh, wrong side. There we go. I don't like it. So I'm really fussy, you know. And anybody can say, oh, it looks fine to me. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> and if I don't like it, it's not happening. So let me get the um, shape right. I've got the shape right. I just want, I think it's because it's, um, what's it called? Uh, Karen Cakes. It can be, arranged. yeah. I think it's because it's Karen Cakes. It's quite thick. So um, I really can't see the pattern properly. I mean, it's there. You can see a pattern. I mean, you know, there is definite pattern there. But um, as you can see, they're just tail ends. I'm not cutting anything. I'm just playing, okay? Um, I'm not happy, okay? So when I get happy, which is, uh, when I get happy, you'll hear me because I'll go, yay, and I'll be screaming, and you'll hear me from the other side of the world because I'm pretty loud. <laughs> pretty loud. <laughs> so there you go. That is coming. I should have it all sorted out by midweek next week. So you will know what you need to do next. All right. I worked up a sweat <laughs> trying on <laughs> the trying on the uh, what's it called again? The truck. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> so guys, that's what we've been doing. That's what we're going to do next week. We're also going to be starting our cotton blanket next week. Now, a lady was asking me before about cotton. Do I make blankets? Yes, I do. And we are starting our cotton blanket. I've got fluff in my mouth now. There we go. And these are the colours I'm using. Okay. As you can see, I've been playing with colours and mucking around, as you do. And it doesn't matter what brand you have and what brand you're going to use. Just find some gorgeous cottons that you have in your stash. I will let you know exactly how much to get in, in the future if you don't have cotton on you. I've got all the fluff here. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Oh. <laughs> here we go. There was fluff on my screen. <laughs> it's all this yarn I'm flashing. <laughs> Bring that down. That's better. So, yeah, stick with, stick around for that because that blanket is going to be gorgeous. And that will be granny squares, but not your basic. That'll be, when I say not your basic, newbies can do it. I will try and keep it as basic as possible. But it'll be different because we've done a granny square blanket, guys. If you haven't made the granny square blanket and you would like to make it, this actually done too. <laughs> We've done granny squares, which is. I should bring them over, shouldn't I? All right, wait there. All right, here we go. I got like a gazillion projects up here, and I should actually have them ready to show you. And these are the two blankets we made. All right. This is one that we've made. It's actually when you go on my page, it's the first thing you see on my page. Huh? Gorgeous. That's one that we've made last year. Would have been uh, March of last year, I think we started. Might have been April, something like that. We didn't finish till July or August, so it took us a while. It took me a while. <laughs> and here's one that we've made recently that we're still waiting to put the border on. Ta-da! Gorgeous. How's that, hey? Love, love, love. Okay, so those are the blankets that we've made that are basic. Now you can stick to the basic if you like. I have the tutorials here. Go and check them out. Having said that, even though we've done our basics, the next blanket will still be a basic blanket. It's a cotton blanket. Um, and the reason I make a lot of cotton blankets, and I'm not sure if a lot of you know, I you know, have a few allergies with wool. It's ironic, isn't it? I you know, can't even work with a product that I love so much. <laughs> um, so I make a lot of cotton blankets for that reason. Having said that, um, studies have shown that a lot of parents are opting not to put wool on, on their children or near their baby's skin and that they would prefer to put cotton. I don't care. If someone asks me for a wool blanket, they'll get a wool blanket, right? <laughs> not, <laughs> I'm not one to say. But... I do make more in cotton for my benefit as well as for baby's benefit. So it kind of works well um, both ways. I did recently make, what was August of last year or November of last year, a whole kit. You had a blanket, you had the booties, the beanie, I had the, the, the jacket. It was a little um, matinee jacket 
Um, I did all that. That's a paying pattern, so I can't really do that on YouTube. And I did it all in pink. She didn't want anything else. She just wanted pink. I added a little bit of cream in there. <laughs> it's a very naughty girl. And it still came out gorgeous. I've got photos around somewhere, which I can pop them up one day. Um, but I popped them all in a tub, gave them to her, a nice little box, you know, with pink lace and all that pink stuff. And she loved it, I'm assuming. <laughs> I didn't get a no back, so that was all right. Um, so there you go. So that was all in cotton. The whole kit was in cotton four ply. It was quite thin, um, but it was in cotton and it took me ah oh, forever. <laughs> so <laughs> um, guys, also, oh look, there's a pink. Oh, there's the other one. There it is, the pink. And I said to you before, there was the green in this color. There's the pinks. And the red's kind of a reddy pink. Let me take it out of the bag. It's a bit, bit shiny in there, isn't it? It's flashing on the camera. So there. There's your pink and your reds. Kind of a maroon. Oh, look at that. The colorway is gorgeous. Was that upside down? Sorry. <laughs> Get it right, Mary. <laughs> All right. And uh, that one is also... 60% cotton and 40% acrylic. I think they make a wool as well. So if you were going to make a summer cowl, shawl, shrug, then go for a cotton. Don't, don't use a wool. Unless you're using a really, really thin wool, I kind of wouldn't. If you're making it for summer, I would go for a cotton, a very thin cotton, or this particular size. This cotton here calls for a 3.5 millimeter hook or a 4 millimeter. Now I use a 3.5 on a shawl that I made, uh, when was it? Two years ago? Uh, a year ago? Oh, I can't even remember. But I used a 3.5 and it took me forever. And I used a 3.5 on a little green blanket. Let me get the green colorway for you so you can see it all done. This is another one. All right, there. That's the green one. That's not the same as this green one, because that's a green, green, light green. This is the green, blue one. How many yards in the sheepies? Oh, good question. It does give me the yardage. I saw it when I was staring at it. You know, I really should wear glasses when I do this. Here we go. Okay, sheepies are, hmm. Doesn't give the yard. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Gives you meters. Don't you love that? Um, it gives me meters. Maybe you can do the math on the yards. Just go onto Google and, and do the math on the yards. The meters it's given me is, um, 1,000 meters. Check that out there. Have a look at that. Can you see it? I don't know if it's the right way. If it's back to front. I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of like, it says it's a, 450 meters per 100 grams. Yeah, it's a thousand meters. I don't know what it is in yards, so you'll have to. I'm looking to see if they've got the yardage. Unusual for them not to have the yardage on this one. Yeah, no yardage, just meters. So look up a thousand meters on Google and say thousand meters to yards, and it'll give you the yardage for it. Okay. And that is the blue. That is made with a 3.5 millimeter hook. That is the amount of wool that is in that kit. Okay. All right, how many, okay. Yeah, that's the amount of wool that's in that round skein. If you're using a 3.5 millimeter hook, and that's the whole skein. Different, it's a different colorway, but that's the whole skein. And I made this one for myself. It took me three years, only because it was for myself. I only picked it up once every six months and did two rows or something. I really didn't, <laughs> I really didn't work on it. But there you go. So that is the actual size. That's one skein here. All right, so it doesn't, in a 3.5 millimeter hook, it doesn't make it huge, okay? Just so that you're aware of how big a blanket will be if you use this particular cotton. And it's really thin, but how gorgeous is it? See that? It's really thin, very thin. So it's not really, it's, I think it's more for, I use it for my coffee table, <laughs> as you do, right? <laughs> it's um. funny because... <laughs> 
took so long to, to make it. I didn't want to give it away. I was making it for myself anyway. So I use it for my coffee table. But you, can, this is like a baby blanket. You could give that to um, a mum who's just had a newborn or dad, whoever, has just had a newborn. And, um, yeah, you can give it to anybody. And you could use it as a coffee table tablecloth, so, so to speak. That's what I use it for. It sits under my... Um, uh, the round blanket is just gorgeous. This one here, yeah. You mean the star, this one here, round blanket? The round blanket is just gorgeous. I think you mean this one. Is that what you mean? It's kind of round. It's more four point, it's more a uh, 12 point. Is it 12 point or nine? Two, I can't remember. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, eight points. Okay, this one is from, uh, who was it from? It's not my pattern. Um, oh, focus, focus. <sighs> Mental blank. What's his name? What's his name? Fiber Spider. Hello, that's his name. <laughs> and I watched Fiber Spider because I was looking at the. Um, there was another thing I was looking at, and I looked at it and thought, no, nah, I didn't like it. And then I saw this. Ah, you couldn't see the points, but they're there. They're all there. Sorry, I should have shown you the points. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Fiber Spider. He has a channel here on YouTube. Um, he's one of my top 10. I have to do my top 10 so you guys can see who my top 10 is. Oh, <laughs> they're not always crochet either. <sighs> I like something else. <gasps> Just don't tell anybody. <laughs> so, yeah, that is is that cotton, Sheepy's Cotton, and it's gorgeous. I actually don't know if they sell it um, overseas. I couldn't tell you. Oh, I'm really itchy now. I've been playing with wool. <sighs> you see, <laughs> he does a lot of cool projects, doesn't he? I love him. I think he's great. And he explains things nice and calmly and quietly. Um, he's not, not loud like me. <laughs> oh, I've missed that last, last one. It'll come up. Um, yeah, so he's really good. And um, who else? I've got a list somewhere, but I don't watch him as much anymore because I'm gas too busy. Here we go. Great idea. I have a round coffee table. Yeah, I would put it I want on the coffee table. Anita, that's beautiful. Um, yes, he does. And who else is really good? Krista from Secret Yarnery. Is it Krista? Secret Yarnery. I love watching her. She's just so lively and so bouncy. You'll love her. Go and check her out. Secret Yarnery. She's really good. Very bouncy. Very lively. Wow. Has a really loud laugh. A bit loud like me. <laughs> her laugh is louder than mine though, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, she's really good. So, Secret Yarnery. Hmm. I couldn't go through the list now because I don't watch them as much anymore. I haven't got time. I work all the time. Okay, I did his pent pentagon virus blanket. Oh, pent I don't know. Pentag pent pentagon. <laughs> pentagon. Oh my god, I missed the whole sentence because I've been mumbling. Here we go. Virus blanket the third in the turn. Doily. Oh yes, nice. Love Krista. I know Krista is so bubbly. She's just so lively. This is what I like. Get out there, people. Well, we're living in tough times. We've got to be happy. I mean, otherwise we're going to sit there and suck on our thumbs and rock on a chair and, you know, go crazy. I mean, you've got to laugh. <laughs> you know, I think we could do that. We could sit in the corner and be grumpy all the time or we could just move on because we are where we are at the moment. We're stuck. We're kind of trapped in this, I call it a box. <laughs> Stop calling my house a box. I call it a box. <laughs> Because it's square, you know, it looks like a box. And um, and and we just have to go with the flow. I mean, I have my dogs keep me company, my dog, my cat. And, you know, the kids are around occasionally. <laughs> During lockdown, they're allowed to come and go because they're only one or two. <laughs> no more than that, apparently. <laughs> apparently. No parties. Um, well, we have. Well, I don't think we'll be seeing them this weekend anyway. So there you go. Um, so, yeah, once you're in lockdown, you're in lockdown. Yeah. Anyway, that's what we're doing. And I, I've just put the pin down. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Found the needle. <laughs> so I'm still weaving in these ends. Just let me know if you're joining me new and you would like to see the shrug again. And I will try it on again. I'd, I'd rather not because it's getting really hot now. <laughs> I turned the heater off. It's so cold here in Melbourne. I turned the heater off because of this tutorial. <laughs> the whole house is cold because of me. Because <laughs> I'm wearing it. And shrug. But you know, it's okay. <laughs> the dog and cat are outside. They're out in the cold anyway. So 
<laughs> so, all right so that's what we did last night i uploaded that pretty late overnight yeah i did it was supposed to get uploaded during the day but oh it just took so long to edit we are talking hours editing not my forte maths and editing we'll get it both those skills no i have to do a course on both of them i think <laughs> i have to do some training get my brain working <laughs> <laughs> so guys are there any questions that you would like to ask me about the shrug i do know we have different sizes for different people there is a i used a 37 um 37 inch i think for the younger person in your life i'm going to say person because men men can wear the shrug if they wanted to men can wear it it's not just a female thing i just turned it into a female thing didn't i <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah you could you could um gift it to your family member so you need to get the measurements right um i would just probably best to go 40 or 41 inches with the square just to be safe um i did 40 i did 39 inches actually and then the final row of the square was a row of double crochets um and i did that and it hit by the time i did that it hit like 40 inches or something I should have done a smaller one because I'm short from here down to my waist, but not so much width. <laughs> Something happened. I don't know. It's all that, you know, Italian pasta and, you know, nice food <laughs> that we can't get anymore. <laughs> I might lose weight during this lockdown. <laughs> Hopefully the supermarkets have filled up again, but, you know, that's life. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yeah, any questions about the shrug, just be careful with your measurements. Um, I made the sleeves fairly big, so um, if you didn't want to make it that big, when I edited, I am 4'11". Oh, you're tiny. Oh, you're so tiny. That's cute. My sister's 4'9", I think. Yeah. Um, I thought I was 5'2", but people keep telling me I'm 5'1". It doesn't matter. We're short. <laughs> um, and... Um, the short's not the issue. If you don't have, um, like if you're not a thin person, <laughs> I'm trying to be kind. <laughs> if you're big like me, what size would you do? I'm a size 12. Okay, size 12. Um, is that size 12 in American? Because I believe Australian size 12 is like your eight or something, size eight or something, or size six, or I don't know. Um, I think it is American. You're from America, Karen, I think. Are you? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I don't make the rules here. <laughs> America, you were saying? If, if you're a size, if you're a... Oh, I'm trying to think now. If you're in America, just do the Google, you know, measure. Say size 12, whatever you are from to size 12 Australia and see what the difference is. You might find that your size 12 is like our size eight, which is really tiny. Um, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, because I don't know um, USA sizes. Do some Googling for me, because you've got access to the Google right now, while you're online, looking at this blob <laughs> person. I said person, didn't I? <laughs> I didn't say blob. <laughs> uh, another one from you, English size 12. Okay, hmm. is English size 12 the same as Australian size 12? If it is, I'm, I don't want to say online. <laughs> I'm a large, how does that sound? <laughs> really large. <laughs> I'm short, but I'm past and normal. You have small, medium and large. I think if you stick to the medium, large size, you could get away with it. Um, you're a 14. You'd be like me then, ghost hacker. I'm between 14 and 16. <laughs> I nearly said it. <laughs> okay. Um, just when you're buying something and you're buying, sometimes when you buy an item, it says small, medium and large. Think of an item that you've bought that's had those labels on it rather than just your size because that will tell you, because my measurements in here are small, medium and large. This is between a medium and a large, put it that way. And you saw how big that is. Okay, well, let's not advertise that, but <laughs> well, it's a lot smaller than me. Put it that way. <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wait, I'm measuring tape. 
<laughs> oh, yes, Liz, you can be the same as me. So make it the same measurement as mine. I'm not going to tell you what mine is, but I'll just tell you whether you need to make it the same measurement as mine. Holy macaroni. You're a small. <laughs> 34, you're a small. Okay, I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to advertise who said that because if someone comes back and watches, they don't want to see all this. So if you're a 34 in that size that you told me, uh, top bit lost four size down the middle. Okay, good, good. But Liz, you, you could make the same size I made. You can't go wrong with that. Okay, for everybody else, I say Liz because I know she's Australian. Okay, for the people overseas, I don't know about your sizes, but this is a really big size, okay? So if you made the same as mine, or the measurements will be on the tutorial. If you made the same as mine, it's a one size kind of fits all. When we talk about the size of the actual granny square, if you did the, watch the video, the first part, it tells you about the sizes. When I talk about the size at the end of the tutorial, and I say 37 inch, 39 or 40 inches, if you go between 40 and 41 inches and you're a large, you can't go wrong. Medium, you're looking between 39, we'll say 38 and, and 40 inches. It's, it's a very forgiving pattern as well. It, it's wide <laughs> for the bigger woman. And if you find that you have, um, it's a little bit too short for you in front, it doesn't cover you in front, do two more rows of that. I will mention that at the end of the tutorial two more rows of your border and you can't go wrong okay so it's just to make sure it fits you around the shoulders a medium to large or a small to medium those two which i mentioned on the tutorial will be okay okay just check those measurements okay that i mentioned in the actual tutorial and you can't go wrong i, I believe i mentioned it in the one from last night i've right, got some things happening here we'll get rid of that um yeah so watch your measurements I don't think you guys will have a problem if you stick to 39 to 41 inches, between 38 to 41. I think even 38 will be fine. I might be a bit small. If you're tall, are you tall? Whoever said that they were tiny in frame? Not as big as me. <laughs> Not as wide as me. <laughs> if you're tiny in height as well, I would stick to the 37 inches of, or 38 maximum. But if you're a little bit taller than me, and I'm only 5'2", so I'm really short, I would go up a level, okay? I mentioned that in the tutorial anyway, so have a little play with the tutorial. Just go over that part where it talks about the measurements, and if you have to go over it a second time, because I talk too much yet, <laughs> if you have to go over it a second time, um, then do that too. And I'm nearly, I think I finished my ends. I can't remember if I've done them all, but I have. I finished the ends, yay! This is what happens when you're talking to people, you forget what you're doing. But I think I have finished the ends. Okay, coolio. So it's looking gorgeous, guys. I can't complain. Um, it's heavy, so it's warm for winter. But I will be making a summer one coming up in a few weeks' time. Not so much this week, because we have a lot more to get through this week. Um, so not so much this week. Any other questions regarding the shrub? Apart from size, because we talked about that. Anyone? Anyone? It's not all shout out at once. <laughs> Otherwise, if you have any other questions about anything else that I can answer, and I will. Uh, I have, and I'll tell you now so you can see it. I have cut up all my ends for the Karen cake. You don't need to do this for the Karen cakes. Where is it? Right there. Okay. And they're all cut up and put in bags and labelled the number of how many grams I use. Okay, not so much the meterage. I'll do that later. We can sort the meterage out later. Um, and yardage. <laughs> I forgot to get a glass of water today, guys. I had a coffee earlier, but it's gone. Watching you in the dark. Mm, you watch me in the dark? That's a bit scary. Mm, not that pretty in the dark. Not that pretty in the light either. <laughs> well, did I say that out loud? Oops. <laughs> This is the question. This is what you want to say? <laughs> Angela. <laughs> um, let's see it on again. You want to see it again, Marina? Okay. Well, now all the ends are weaved in. It'll look better, I think. Well, it's all those little dangly ends. They make things look very messy, don't they? But once they're in, they're in. 
Have I got it the right side? Is that the right side or the wrong side? Now, when I say the right side or the wrong side, the very last three rows that you do to this, this um, shrug is the right side. Put it that way. Okay, I hope that makes sense. But you'll hear about it in the tutorial anyway. Oh, it's nice and heavy. I can't wait to have a cold winter's day where I can go out and wear it. I cannot wait. Oh, I get very excited. And I get really, I'm shaking right now. I get really excited when I complete a project and I haven't even done my victory dance. Oh, for those of you who don't know what my victory dance is, I did one here on YouTube. <laughs> and I do them after every project I finish, whether it's a big project or a little one. I do a victory dance after every one that I finish. Well, let me bring that down. So y'all can have a look, see. Very nice. It's actually quite big on me anyway. So if you were to do, yeah. Oh, you remember that one, do you? <laughs> if you were to do this size that I did, um, you it would fit anyone really because it's quite big on me. It's like one size fit all. 40 inches to 41 inches on the tutorial when I talk about measurements is one size fit all. So you really can't go wrong. And in the cooler months, it's nice to have it big. And if you wanted to, you could leave it loose like that. And so it just sits down the side. Or you can bring it up and over and it just keeps you warm. And if you wanted to put one of these shore pins, you could put a shore pin. Have I lost weight I'm eating? Yeah, <laughs> right. I don't think I've lost weight. <laughs> Thanks for the um, compliment, though. You could put a shore pin in it as well. Um, you can do whatever you want with your shawl. I mean shawl. <laughs> with your shrug. Pretty cool. I love it so much. Woohoo. <laughs> you mean, not me pretty. You mean the, the item is pretty. <laughs> How's that? How good is it? I love, love, love. I cannot get over it. You know, there's some things I like. And then there are some things that I love. That's one thing I love, and this is my other love. That's why I kind of made it for myself, um, because I was very, <laughs> you know. And the other thing I love too, and you can probably see it from here, is that blanket with the little flower look. There. <laughs> Can't get my finger right, so far away. I, that's one of my favourites. That is mm, yarns from Tandy Farms here in Australia. And a uh, fella's name was Tom. He came out to Unwind Craft Cafe. Yeah, a little bit, not much. I don't think I've lost weight since lockdown. Okay, if you think so. <laughs> um, so that yarn there cost me an arm and a leg, right? One of my favorite blankets to make. Maybe in the future we might make one on YouTube. Oh, I know, right? Gorgeous, I know. It's very warm though. <laughs> and you might just be joining us, Karen. Might have been later when I said I'm going to be doing a summer shrug. Using the, um, we're not using the granny square look. We're using the rectangle piece with a different stitch. But it won't be difficult. You can do it. Anybody can do it. And it'll still be intricate enough to be nice. So, coolio. <laughs> but yeah, very warm, very comfortable. I know. I love, love, love. I cannot get enough of it, except it is a bit too warm in the house for it. Oh, it's a little bit too warm in the house. Starting it soon. Yeah, the shrug is great. Just remember, if you're really worried about measurements, just make it a 40 inch square. And on, on the very last row, where it's, see this, the first, the first part of the square is basic granny stitch. Then there's the very final row before starting the curved look of, if I can find it, the final row of just granny stitch, oh, not granny stitch, just double crochets. That row there, after that row, that's where you measure your inches. I hope that makes sense. I will, um, I will mention it on the tutorial as well, the part two coming up. Part one, I mentioned just about the square and how you can use measurements to suit you. But part two, it'll be that extra row of double crochets. After that extra row, once that's done, you can't make it bigger, <laughs> okay? So if you're not happy with that, once it's done, you're in trouble. <laughs> but it's all about having enough yarn 
and it's all about getting your measurements right but if you don't want to worry about measurements just do the 40 inch one you can't go wrong with that if you are an extra large I'd go 41 inches because I'm just large did I say that out loud <laughs> medium large how's that sound <laughs> medium large I'm trying to make it sound I want to make it sound good so if you're wanting an extra large then you must go for 41 inches just trying to help you out here I don't want it to be too tight on you I don't think it'll sit tight because I'm a large and that's quite loose on me so I don't think you'll have a problem with the 40 inches I think I hit 39 to 40 it was one of those I think it was 39 before I put the final row and once I put the final row it was 40 and actually nearly 41 it was just about 40 can't even remember <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it was 39 at the end of the whole granny square piece and then I just did that row of um, double crochets which probably would have made it 40 okay that's that that's that I am so excited we talked about this for so long and I do this I talk a lot <laughs> and I talk about projects I want to make projects I'm going to make we're going to do it we're going to do it and we never do it and then all of a sudden we do it and it's there all at once <laughs> but I did spend hmm I spent three to five hours recording it I spent a whole week finishing it because the square takes a long time guys it's not a quick square <laughs> I did have other things in between, you know, you've got to live too. And um, and I spent, and this is no lie, yesterday, six and a half hours editing just part one. <laughs> Someone said to me, oh, what's it like being in lockdown? You must be really quiet and bored. I haven't got time to be bored. I work days, I work nights. <laughs> and that's just a one tutorial. <laughs> So no, it was it's it's a bit of a not wasn't a difficult tutorial. It's just had a lot in it, and um, if I learned to just not talk so much during the tutorial, <laughs> we can get through it quicker. <laughs> and I won't have to edit so much. I'm telling you, I would have edited the one that I did last night. I would have edited out a whole fifty minutes worth of me. Blah, 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 blah. So if you think it's real chatty in there, when you see it, <laughs> just think another fifty minutes of it. <laughs> The tutorials, they take so long because I just talk and carry on and, oh, look at that, there's a plane passing by and <laughs> the dog's wagging his tail. <laughs> and so I get so totally sidetracked and I cut all those out. So the things that you think you're not hearing, <laughs> you really aren't hearing them. <laughs> and the things that you think you're hearing is too much, it's not even half. <laughs> so I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Contain yourself. When I get this way, <laughs> I can't stop so um, I will contain myself <laughs> this is not professional <laughs> I can do this cool <sighs> so yes so the shrug is done um, I will be editing part two of the shrug it'll take me a couple of days to edit that because I just <sighs> jab it on forever <laughs> so <laughs> give me a few days before that comes out but I will be bringing out how to do the sleeve because the sleeve has that it's not difficult I think it was um, front post one back post one front post one back post but I'm going to do a small tutorial on Monday for front post and back post and front loops and back loops for the newbies joining and then on the Tuesday I will upload this the part two which is the final part of the shrug so you can have it done by Wednesday if you're fast if you're a fast crocheter, not like me, well, I'm fast, but clearly not fast enough because I couldn't get that square done quick enough. <laughs> and I have some personal projects on the go as well, which I didn't bring out today. Um, oh, no, I did bring one. Which you guys have already seen. You guys have already seen. And I started there, that one there. That is coming. It's, let me bring that down a bit so you can see it. That is going to be that. And then I'm going to have that filled up as well because I prefer it filled up. I don't like it opened. So there you go. Ta-da! And it's going to have straps. You would have seen this it's online. There's a lot of squares online like this. Um, and we're going to do this as a tutorial. Oh, sorry about that. We're going to do that as a tutorial on YouTube. In fact, having a careful look at it, that's quite thin cotton. So that will make a perfect little, it's like a little top. I know that's gorgeous, isn't it? We will be making that. And we'll be making it within a couple of weeks now because once I get the um, design right, because I'm designing this myself and making it up as I go along as you do. <laughs> and 
and it's going to have straps that go up the front, not thin straps, so you can wear it over your t-shirts, you can wear it over a singlet top, um, anything you want underneath it, you can wear it over a, um, a, a skibby or like a real, skibbies are the ones we wear here in Melbourne with the neck thing, I can't wear them. <laughs> But you can wear them over your t-shirts, they look great over your t-shirts. So if you've got like a daddy t-shirt and you think, oh, I just want to look great for this one day, you pop that gorgeous little lace top on and it just makes everything look great. So yeah, you can wear that on. And um, I have three colours. One colour I gave to my daughter, she's making herself a singlet. You won't notice the lockdown. <laughs> you won't notice lockdown, I know, right? But after lockdown, guys, we, we might be locked down forever. We'll be out eventually. We'll get through this. And if you notice, <clears throat> once your country gets to its peak, it starts to slowly go down. And that's where Melbourne's starting to see that tiny little, not much. <laughs> we still need to be in lockdown. It's a tiny little, I'll bring that down over here. less too much lighting yet. Tiny little um, drop. Tiny little. So we still have to be locked down for a little while. Um, but once you see the drop down, things will start getting better. You, you'll notice it that all of a sudden there's, sun, there's light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> and we will get out of our houses eventually. <laughs> Mind you, we were allowed to go out in the backyard and, and feel fresh air. And I don't know if we're allowed to go in the front yard. But here in Australia, I don't know if it's happening overseas. Last night I saw on the news that people were wearing full on gorgeous ensembles just to take the rubbish bin out to the front. <laughs> Like they were looking like they were all dolled up and had makeup on and the, the heels and the gowns and everything. Walked out, took the rubbish bin out and went back in. <laughs> so people are doing some funny stuff. <laughs> I'm no different. <laughs> no, I prefer to be in my casuals. Look at the t-shirt. This is the oldest t-shirt I've got. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> so yeah, people are dressing up just to take the bin out. Can you believe it? So we are making this, as you can see, it's not finished. Um, and we're going to, I'm going to add something here. I notice in a lot of um, people who've made these in the past, they put like, you know, th the frills there. So it's all just lacy. There's a lot of stuff hanging on the camera. Oh, oh I'm playing with this. <laughs> okay, so you've got all these little frills there. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. We're just going to fill it in. We're going to make it look gorgeous. Like our shrug. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some lovely spring summer gear coming guys now i'm getting them ready on purpose because i think we're going to skip winter here completely in melbourne <laughs> we've already gone through some of some of autumn and we haven't seen it and i just think we're going to skip winter because we can't go out <laughs> so i think we'll start making um which will surprise to you talk to your friends on video not much not much no not really um, there are a group of crochet colleagues that I socialise with. I call them colleagues. They are friends that I socialise with. Um, and we go to Unwind Craft Cafe for a sit and stitch, it's called. Um, sit and stitch? Stitch and sit? Both. Anyway, we go there once a month on a Thursday night. And last night was that once a month and we couldn't go. So we all did a little, well, not all, just a group of our girls did a little live thing. Now, I won't do that. Not last night. Thursday night. Two nights ago. I won't do that because it's not my thing. I do um, video chat my family in Italy at the moment just to see if they are okay through the crisis that they're going through in Italy. It's just just out of control there. Um, so I do video chat them, um, but I don't video chat. Not really, no. No. I haven't got the time. I would love to. I think give or take another three months when it's all settled and we're all back to normal again, maybe. But right now, I'm kind of, people think, oh, how can you be busy? But it's true because I'm doing so many projects at once, trying to get them out to you guys so that you've got things to do while you're in lockdown and you don't feel sad during lockdown, you know, because we're all feeling a little bit sad during lockdown. I am, but I keep busy with all these projects. Um, I'm my on a cruise, yeah, well, don't take any cruises right now. <laughs> I don't think they're doing them now anyway. <laughs> um, I've been to Italy once. I would love to go again. I don't know if my um, third figure can afford to take a plane ever. <laughs> um, 
So, yeah, I would love to travel again. It would be a, a dream to get around the world. And I would love to meet some of my subscribers. I think that would be even fun. <laughs> we could have some, we could have like a crochet visit thing. <laughs> everybody get together in Canada. No, everybody get together in Melbourne. <laughs> everybody get together in Spain, Italy. Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. Just wait a bit and then we'll do all that. <laughs> <laughs> we're all in the same boat where we're all sort of stuck in our homes and just to keep everybody going and happy I do as many projects as I can so that time is of the essence you never know right you never know in the future and I, I can see things getting better already so now we just have to follow the rules so many people are breaking the rules I'd love to go to Italy and have family there I've never met I also have some family I've never met. I've spoken to them on um, num, 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 Facebook, but I've never actually met them, not personally. I've met some of them, but I haven't met all of them. I'd love to meet my mum's side of the family especially because I didn't have that opportunity to know any of her family. She was on her own here in, in Australia, um, but they were all over there. <clears throat> so my dad's family were here, but I would love to have met my mum's family. I met some of them over there, not a lot. And I would love to meet all of them. And that would be just one big, loud Italian room. <laughs> if you're Italian, you will know what it's like when 20 of us are standing in one room at one time trying to talk over each other <laughs> with our really loud voices. <laughs> and there's always this one person in the family who talks very quietly and nobody can hear them because we've talked over them for 40 years or 50 years. That they didn't get a word in edgewise. <laughs> so I would love to meet family overseas. It would be a dream to get around and meet a lot of people whom I speak to on YouTube. Um, a lot of my subscribers, I would love to meet them. And I know you see them come up. Hi, I'm Sherry. I know you're late, honey. We're almost done. But I can show you the shrug again. Want to see it, Sherry? I've been showing it like 10 times. <laughs> Um, I saw it come up. Yes. Okay. All right. Ready, M. Sherry? Here we go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Every time someone comes on, I have to put the shrug on, right? <laughs> and, and I get really hot. But it started to cool down in here because I turned the heater off, as you do. <laughs> Liverpool and we get together. That's it. Oh, I know. I know. But still get together with your family if you can. Oh, not right now, because we're all in lockdown. <laughs> Here we go. M. Sherry, ready? I'll bring it down and I'll do a little model. Uh-huh. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Is it not gorgeous? I know, right? And yours truly It's quite round, robust, if you will. <laughs> and it, it still fits lovely. So, and I didn't do the actual extra large size. I did the 40 inch, 39 to 40 inch, which is large. Okay, so you've got your small, medium and large. Can't go wrong with that. If you're bigger than large, then just go up to 41 inch. Can't go wrong with that. Gorgeous, check it out. And here's the sleeves. I know, right? There's the sleeves. So the sleeves are the only intricate part, but it's not difficult. You can do it. You can do it. Ta -da. <laughs> I'm a model. What's that song? I'm a model? <laughs> so I'm not a model, no. <laughs> so there you go. That is our shrug. It is finished. It is gorgeously warm. I'm very happy with it. But I was also mentioning, I'm sure, that oh, we're making in the future a summer shrug. Oh, but not granny square. Oh, you're starting today, Liz. I know, right? And you know, the actual square part of the shrug does take a long time. So, you know, pop yourself in front of the TV and just... Once you get the first three rows, the rest is... You'll fly through it, especially you who's already very good at crochet. So, M. Cherie, what do you think? I have a strong just accent when I'm upset. Oh, is that right? I think I get into the Italian accent when I'm upset. <laughs> kind of... <laughs> There we go. All right, gorgeous. So we are making uh, a summer shrug in the future. In a couple of weeks time, I'm bringing that out. But it's a rectangle. It's not going to be a square. 
it's going to be a rectangle and it's not going to be the same stitch it'll be a little bit different so if you're really happy with this nice winter shrug and you are in an area where the climate does get a real a bit hot in your summer um, check that out or I don't even know what color I'll do it in I've got the pinks as well check it out are they not gorgeous oh did you see the price check that out not happy Jan <laughs> not happy <laughs> right, check that out the green tutorial to make star blanket uh, the star blanket I I got that one from um, oh, what's his name I just, sorry, Bob. my brain I tell you um, <laughs> fiber spider <laughs> shut down that's his star blanket I think it's the eight star blanket or something like that just check out fiber spiders channel and type in the word star blanket and see what comes up he's very good you know he's quite calm and he's a youtuber so that's where I got it from YouTube about a year and a half two years ago he's very good I'm pretty sure it's him <laughs> no it was, it was. <laughs> years ago I used to watch him a lot because he was just such a um, his, his explanations were quiet and calm he's not as loud as me <laughs> not allowing what is it annoying loud person like me um, and I could understand what he was talking about. It was very clear, very precise. Um, and I've done a few things from him, and this is one of them. I can't even remember the other stuff that I've done. It's been so long. It was years ago I used to watch him. I don't watch him anymore. It's not that I don't watch him anymore. I don't have the time. Um, yeah, so there we go. Nice, nice, nice. And that's that. I'm going to take this off now because it's quite warm in here. Um, but this is a really good. Let me just show you this way so you can see the back. I'll show you the back. That's the back. Ta -da! How do you see it? Oh, how do you see it? And and if you did this in the 41 inches the square itself, which I explained at the end of that tutorial that I just uploaded, it can be a perfect blanket. So if you decide not to do the shrug or it's too stressful for you, make a blanket. But I would do the shrug because it's gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> now let me turn it around and show you the front. Okay, ta-da, kind of looks like a bat wing, there you go, that's the front, that's your sleeves, I'm lighting so he's not doing it justice now, there's your sleeves, see it's a little bit intricate your sleeves, a little bit intricate, but it's not difficult, it's a basic intricate, you can do it, I know you can, <laughs> I know you can, <laughs> alright, so that's that guys, I've been talking for a very long time, <laughs> I would like to stop talking and get a nice cup of tea. <laughs> that would be a blanket on me. Oh, you're four foot ten. You're tiny. You're so cute. Make a smaller one. Uh, what size are you first? Be careful because I, I'm short from my neck to my waist. So I'm really short there. I'm only five two, right? So I'm short from my neck to my waist. So um, I should have made a small or a medium. But the third figure told me I needed a large, okay? So I had to go large. That's why it's quite flowy on me. Um, if you're really worried about size and you are a large, I would go for the same, exactly the same as what I did. Don't don't change it. But if you are a... I'm not kidding, I've got a video. <laughs> I've got to do a video soon. Yeah, go, go for doing, doing a video. Angela from Ghost Hacker, I think she calls herself. She has a YouTube channel here. Giving you a bit of a plug there, Angela. <laughs> she is everywhere I am. <laughs> if it's not YouTube, it's, I don't know, Instagram. If it's not Instagram, it's Facebook. She's all over the place. And she also has a YouTube here, a YouTube channel um, here. I think it's Ghost Hacker something. Anyway, that, that'll come up eventually. When I do one of my small chats that's not live, I'll be able to advertise her properly. <clears throat> so there you go. Guys, I'm going to have to go. I need a drink. Water. <laughs> Not a drink drink. I could do it with a drink drink, right? <laughs> and I need to clean up because I'm itchy all over now because I've been touching wool everywhere. <laughs> and I also need to crochet. I need to work. Oh, I've got to stop talking. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This is Well Crochet. My name is Mary, and I'm going to head off and do some work so that you can have more tutorials to come. Yay. <laughs> now, Let's go to turning off this. Hey, don't forget to say goodbye, guys. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I know my nails are a bit weird. I know. I've been doing messing around with colour. <laughs>
<laughs> One, one's done and one's not. <laughs> They're coming. Okay, a good thing from Australia. <laughs> Thank you. Good night to those who are going to sleep and have a good day for those who are awake like me. <laughs> Bye. You can rewatch the video if you haven't seen it all. All right, ciao. <laughs> ciao for now. <laughs> okay, let's do this. <laughs> I'm not going to do this right. Do you? <laughs> Keep messing this up. I think I've got it now. Oh, yeah, I've got it. Bye. Ciao.